Good morning everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Luke, thank you very much for watching. We are just leaving uh, a yard. We've just done a tip. Done our first job of the day. Uh, I was gonna vlog uh, coming here and well, I wasn't gonna vlog coming here. I was gonna vlog when I got here, uh, but my batteries were dead. So I've had to wait until um, they've charged up a bit before I actually start start vlogging but uh yeah we uh we've just been to ross and white it's where we are right now um and we've done our first job of the day now we're gonna let that lady cross i think i spotted her before she spotted me i'm just saying something because i'm in a big line with lights we are going to wait for that van to come as well because the trailer will be on his side of the road for a while clear left clear right Let's go. There we go. So yeah, this is actually, um, I'm not sure if this is a weight limited bit or somewhere over there. I mean, obviously over there it is, but somewhere over this side of the road, it says that um, it's a weight limited road, except for access. And obviously we needed access. Thank you very much for flashing me out. That is very kind of him, isn't it? We shall say thank you. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, it's a really nice day today. Uh, like it's, it's cold, it's cold out. Don't get me wrong. It's according to the uh, thermometer. Yeah, thermometer. It's ten degrees outside this morning. So I mean, it's not like proper warm or anything. But um, yeah, it's a uh, it's a nice day. It's a nice day. Right, we're gonna go right. The sat nav is telling me to go left, but we come from the right, so we're gonna go back the way we came. Clear, all clear. Da, da, da. Uh, did we come that way? I can't remember which way we come now. Sat nav is saying go less, so let's just follow the sat nav. Da, da, da. Pretty sure we come the other way, but never mind. We are going to follow the sat nav because the sat nav is taking us back home. We'll just have a quick look. Okay, I know where it's sending us now. We uh, we did some country roads coming here. Um, and it looks like we're going to skip those country roads. We're going to go up to the M50 and then come back down onto the M5. And come home that way. We'll go back to the yard that way anyway. So yeah, uh, good day, good day. We've got to go back to South Serling now and reload to go to Bristol. Um, we're going to one of the places that I've been to before, um, out of Henbury, so obviously sometimes I work out of Bristol and uh, this yard we're going to is a, is a yard I've been to before, but it's not a yard I've been to before coming out of Swindon, if that makes sense. It, normally I come out of Bristol to deliver to that Bristol store, um, so normally it's only like a 20 minute drive maximum to get there, whereas getting from Swindon it's probably going to take an hour, an hour, an hour and ten, an hour twenty, something like that. Say an hour and 15. So it's a long old drive there, and then we've got to get back as well. So um, it's going to be actually, it's going to eat up a bit of a chunk of the day, to be fair. So it's not a quick job like it normally is, is what I'm trying to say. But yeah, what's the time now? It's 20 past eight. So nine, ten. Yeah, it's gonna it's gonna eat up a bit of the day. We uh, we're still not sure whether we've got a third run scheduled or not. She said it depends on what time I get back. So, um, yeah, if I'm not back quick enough, then I'm not going to be able to get that third run in today. Uh, I can see this roundabout being a nightmare. No, it's good, we can go. Had visions then of that roundabout not being very nice. It's all good, we're out. And depending on how quick it takes to get home, back to the yard, whatever, um, we might take this route again to get here in the future. We will see. Uh, now I'm staying in the right lane because I need to go right at the roundabout. And a lot of these roundabouts around this area in Gloucestershire, to go right, you need to stay in the right lane. It's really weird. I mean, it makes sense, but normally the left lane goes right as well in most places. So we are just gonna sit in this lane just to be safe. We wanna go to the M50 and both lanes go there. So it doesn't matter. Luckily we're not holding anybody up. 
So we will be going right, and then when we get off the roundabout, we're just getting back into the left lane again. Obviously, it's illegal. Well, I'm not sure if it's illegal, but I know it's an instant fail if you change lanes on a roundabout. That's one thing you cannot do. Man, that sun is bright. So we wait until we get off the roundabout, then check our inside, make sure it's clear, and move on over. It's all clear. Right, let's put the sun visor down, because that sun is bright. A bit better. Yeah, like I said, beautiful day today. Uh, skies are blue, there's not a rain, cloud in sight. I mean, the, the road's a bit wet, um, damp, moist. I know some people don't like that word. There's nothing wrong with the word moist. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, it's, uh, it's, a, it's a good day, it's a good day. Anyway, let's crack on. It's an hour and 16 minutes back to the yard. Uh, then we'll probably be there for up to an hour, so we probably we'll be there until around about half 10 maybe even later, quarter to 11, so I'll see you when we leave. You join me on the A417. We are about six miles away from where we need to be. However, we're coming off here at this junction because we need to get some fuel. Um, we've got a fuel card now, so we can get fuel. Uh, we're pretty much wherever we want, as opposed to before where we had to go to a place to get it, um, which was nice, kind of, but also awkward if you were, for example, going this the opposite way. Um, because we'd have to go then out of our way to go get the fuel. But now we can get fuel almost wherever we like. So that's good. So we're gonna come off here. I like to call this the Siren Sester Services, but I don't think it actually has a name. So basically there's a co-op here and a Burger King. I think Greg's are here now as well. And Little Chef is here. But it's only a very small services. It's not an actual truck park or anything like that. WGH, they're Wiltshire Grab Iron. They're based in uh, well, Wiltshire, obviously, but they know us, we know them. Right, so, um, yeah, this is the first time that van's gonna come down here, isn't he? This is gonna be the first time that I'm actually using the fuel card, so hopefully it works. Come on then, let's go, let's get a move on. And, uh, and hopefully, we don't have any issues. We'll see, we will soon see. Nice of him to park on the bend. Oh, also, you would have seen my boss earlier. I was uh, just happened to be recording going up Birdlip Hill and he was coming down. So that's quite cool. Right. I don't know if I gotta go put the card in. I take the card to him or not. Sometimes you do. We'll see, we'll see. It doesn't seem to say anything about taking the card in. Right, let's go fill up. Right, so we are filling up with fuel. Took the nozzle out, uh, put it in my fuel tank and the fuel started straight away. So we didn't have to take a card in. So that's good. Got the card here in my hand. It does keep clicking off. It's obviously coming out too fast and splash back in. If that's a real word, splash back in. But it's not good. I've parked a little bit too far behind. So I can't actually see how much I'm putting in, but I'm just going to fill it up anyway. The dial's over there and the, the sun is uh, 
blocking it, so I can't see. Can't see how fast it's coming out or anything. Which is very annoying. And this clicking is very annoying. And it doesn't have one of those safety latches on. So you can uh, keep it on. So I've got to keep holding it basically, which is annoying. So A, I've got to keep holding it. B, I can't tell how much I've got in because I can't see. Because the sun is shining on the dial. I have to physically stop and have a look. I've only put in 122 litres. Got a quarter of a tank, so I expect I can put 300 in. But yeah. Switch off engines. No mobile or car telephones. Pumps not to be used by under 16 year olds. Do not eat or drink. Doesn't say anything about using GoPros. It's getting quite annoying now that it keeps clicking off. It's like coming out too fast. Very annoying. Right, that's the fuel done. There's a lorry behind me waiting to get fuel. So I'm just gonna pull up here a sec. Put the hazards on. I just need to write down how much I put in and put the receipt in the folder. Right. So now we've got a full tank of fuel, we can get going as soon as this white car passes me. Right, let's go get loaded and uh, crack on to Bristol. Right, we are loaded. Seat belt on. Hard hat off. Messes my hair up. <laughs> right, let's go. Let's get cracking! Don't know why I did that. Let's go, 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 go. They, uh, she just asked me if I'd be back to do a third run. I said, yeah, I should be. She goes, uh, I need to know what time. I was like, well, it's difficult to give a time because I've got to get there, unload and get back. Um, so I said it takes an hour and 15 minutes to get there. So an hour and 15 to get back, so that's two and a half hours. Say it takes an hour to tip, I could be three and a half hours. And uh, it's half past 10 now. So I said, I'm looking to be back at the very, at the earliest, two o'clock. Um, so we need to wait and see. <laughs> She said she was going to put it on someone else, but um, she said if I get back earlier, then they'll put it on me. So to get the third run in, I need to be uh, need to be back really by two o'clock. But we'll have to we'll have to wait and see. We'll have to wait and see. Now Satnav's telling me to go that way because it thinks I'm too tall to go via Monsbury because there's a low bridge. But we are going to go via Monsbury and we are going to go under the low bridge not too low for us we can get under it it's a four point wow it's a really weird bridge actually i when we get there if i remember i'm going to point it out but basically one sign says it's 4.4 meters and the rest says it's 4.2 meters but also if you trans translate the meters into feet it doesn't make sense um the the numbers are wrong so it's one of those bridges which uh don't actually know how tall it is but yeah I go on 4.2, I've taken a trailer that's 4.22 metres under it, that's as far as I'll, uh, I'll go, because it says 4.2 metres but the feet I think translates into 4.25 metres, um, but then one of the signs says 4.4 metres, so yeah, don't make sense, just like I'm not making sense right now, but you'll see when I when we get there I'll show you, but um, yeah, so let's get, get crack a lack in. ETA is just before 12 o'clock at Southmead. Been there many times before. Uh, it's one of those places where it's quite tight to get in. And if there's any other trucks in front of you, then you could be there for a while, but 
we'll see, we'll see. Anyway, let's get going. Enjoy some of the countryside. Right, we uh, been driving now for about an hour and 15. You are gonna go. Okay, I'll, uh, I'll slam on my brakes so I don't hit you. Jesus, just pulled out, man. Um, yeah, we're nearly here. <laughs> uh, in a second, we've got to do a very tight left-hand turn. So tight, in fact, that I need to be right out on the other side of the road to actually make it. But if it's too busy coming the other way, like it looks like it is, I'll just go down and turn around at the roundabout and then cross the traffic, take a right. But uh, we'll, uh, we'll see once we actually get there. We're only uh, half a mile away. It's just down the road. Just got to go over this roundabout and then uh, we'll be there. I can't believe that car just pulled out right in front of me. Never mind. Never mind. Um, of course, after this, I'm still not entirely sure what I'm doing. Uh, we may have a third run, we may not. We'll have to wait and see on that one. But uh, we'll just take it as it goes. If, if we've got to do a third run, we'll do a third run. Depends really how long we're going to be here for. This place is uh, touch and go. Sometimes you can be here in and out very quickly, and sometimes you can be waiting to get in and then be ages before you actually leave again. It's also one of those sites where um, you can't get out if there's customers in your way. Come on, matey boy. So if there's too many customers in the way of their vans, then I won't be able to get out anyway. Thank you. Right, left turn is coming up. So I think that's where that van is coming out. Ah, there's a red light. It could be my saving grace if it's the right side. Nope. I've got to stop at this red light. <laughs> a little bit further down. Uh, there is a van behind me, but it's quite far behind. Yeah, it's looking like I'm just going to have to go straight down, turn around at the roundabout, save the aggro. Because it's also technically a blind left as well because I've got to turn so shut up I won't be able to see where the back wheels of the trailer is doing let's have a look is this left here yes well if I knew he was going to indicate, then I would have done it. But nah, let's just go down to the roundabout and turn around. This would be uh, Sod's Law now, where a lorry turns up and jumps in front of me just because I've done this little turn. Would not be best pleased. This roundabout can be quite tight as well, actually. I've got to get right on the left-hand side of the roundabout, which goes left only, to go right. So I've got to uh, make sure there's no one coming down the inside of me while I'm doing it. It is a pretty nifty, tighty roundabout, if that's a real word. <laughs> yeah, left lane is left only. Do, do, do. Just gonna lift my lift axle up so I can turn a bit easier. No one seems to want to go. Lovely. 
quickly. Thought that lady was gonna cross the zebra crossing then, so I just laid off the accelerator quickly. That's what that jumpy jitteriness was. What is that bloke looking at me for? It's a bloke in the high vis there looking. Maybe he thinks I'm delivering to him, I don't know. Taking up the middle of the road because the car's got its door open there. Right, so rather than doing a sharp left hand turn, it's now a, a, a mediocre right hand turn. Da, da, da. Oh, there's a van there in the way. Yeah, it's quite tight down here. And there are, oh, a, there's a van there, look, which could interfere with me. Hopefully we can get around. Yeah, it should be good. Right, we're good to go. Just had to let that van out. Camera's coming off now uh, because can't show you where I'm delivering to. Well, more of a case of I don't want to. I don't want to give them any recognition. In which case, some of you may know who I'm delivering to. All right, I'll see you in a bit. Oh, that's tight. There's something about this trailer. It's just got a very tight turning circle. I think because it's on two axles, it just turns harder. I, I realise you can see who I just delivered to, but never mind. We've got to try and get out of here now. There's a couple of vans that are offloading there, so we need to try and take this quite wide just to get the trailer around. I only just got the trailer around there, look. I don't recall seeing that lamppost earlier there. Anyway, we're out. Same as before, we can either go left and go round the roundabout and go back up, or do the tight right. It's easier to do a tight right out here, but I kind of need to make up my mind before I get here. I'm going to try and do a tight right. Yeah. So now, because I'm positioned in the way to do a tight right, I can't turn left. That's why you need to make your mind up and just do it. But luckily there's a zebra crossing there and someone wanted to cross, so it was all clear to the left. And right was clear as well. So, uh, yeah, so all good. We, uh, ETA back is 10 to two. However, we do need to get half an hour break in. So, um, we will be stopping at the services on the way back and we then will be back around about half past two. Traffic dependent. So we'll have to see. I did tell them I'll probably be back for three o'clock so it's not far off. Not far off at all. Um, yeah, I'm just trying to think if there's anything I can really tell you about that drop. There wasn't really, it was relatively easy. I got straight in, which is nice. Um, a driver turned up for Gregory's. Uh, he goes, this is in the middle of nowhere, isn't it? <laughs> First time he's ever been to that store. And if you've never been there before, I'm telling you, driving an Arctic, going down that street, you're like, oh crap, am I in the right place? Because if you're not, then there's nowhere to turn around, basically. Um, so I can un I could understand his, uh, his cautiousness but uh, he was in the right place. He asked me if I knew where, uh, if I'd ever been to the Wellingford branch, and I said, no, can't help you there, mate. I'm afraid I haven't. But uh, yeah. Oh, it's 20 miles an hour down here. I was doing 25, I better slow down. Didn't realize it was 20. Don't normally come this way. Normally when you're working out of Bristol Henbury, you come from the other side, so you haven't got to worry about that tight left hand bend. But I only know about it because um, I have come this way before in the past. But ages ago. 
How many cars are going to try and overtake this bus then? I'm hoping you're the last. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Did they even look? Did they even look? Oh, I was so close to swearing then. I'm sorry. <laughs> You're indicating left. That's cool. You're indicating to go right. Go on then. Off you go. Red car's going left. I can go. <laughs> oh, silly people crossing the road without looking. If I was a bit closer, that could have been a lot worse. Luckily, I was a relatively safe distance away. But I did need to slow down. Anyway. I need some new underwear. I'll, uh, <laughs> I'll see you later. <laughs> Break has finished. We're on 35, uh, sorry, 45 minutes. I had uh, a little bit extra because why not? There is no other runs today. So I thought let's get an extra bit of break in. Don't want to get back too early, otherwise uh, I'd be in a queue waiting to be offloaded. Now, can I get out of the services? Gotta look to your left because lorries come speeding around sometimes. Yeah, it's looking like I can get out. As long as I get my uh, trailer around the back of this little, whatever you want to call it, seven and a half tonner. Loads of room, loads of room. Right. Give way to the right, nothing coming. We are good to go. On to the motorway, onto the motorway number four, M4. Oh, there's sheep in there, look. Sheep in that field. Scott Andrews would be pleased. A <laughs> uh, little joke there. <laughs> um, yeah, so we're, um, we're heading back. We have uh, had confirmation that uh, we are getting loaded for tomorrow. Not quite sure what we're doing yet though. There was there was one or two runs. I can't remember what one of them was, but the other one was Evercreech, Evercreech, which is sort of Glastonbury way. If it's that, then that's an early start tomorrow because I'd have to be there for what six r six, and it takes two hours to get there. So that'd be a half full start in the morning, which is not good. Never mind what can you do. What can you do, eh? But yeah, no, we're uh, heading back to uh, the yard now to get to get loaded. We'll just have to wait and see when we get there as to what we are actually doing. Right, we are loaded, and we're going to Evercreech. Not now, because we get there far too late. Uh, it's four o'clock in the afternoon slash evening. Feels like evening because it's getting dark, but it's only afternoon, isn't it? So it's four o'clock this afternoon, currently, right now. If we were to go straight to Evercreech, we wouldn't get there until quarter past six, just before. So yeah, it's a good two hour, 15 minute drive from here. So it's not, uh, it's not just around the corner, it's quite a while away. I expect uh, first thing in the morning it'll only take me two hours, maybe just under two hours. So um, not the end of the world. I've got a light bulb blown on the uh, bottom left hand side. Yeah, bottom left hand side of the truck is the, the main beam. Luckily it's not dark enough yet. I mean I've got spare bulbs on me so if I needed to change it I could. But I'm just going to drive back to the yard and uh, get the garage to do it for me. Got my lights on but it's not, I wouldn't say right now is necessary for, for me to have lights on, personally. But uh, well, the sun is still out over there. Do you know what I mean? But we'll get the lights done and then uh, be ready for tomorrow morning. Gotta get out of here first. I'm gonna be cheeky and go now. There is a gap, I'm not pulling out in front of somebody. Um, it's just, uh, where are they? They're still behind me, 
still behind me, still behind me. And now they're on my back end. So no harsh braking was needed by the uh, recipient of that driver, that vehicle. I don't know, it's getting on now, isn't it? It's like, can't get my words out. <laughs> no, we're on our way back to the yard. We need to get the light bulb done on the left. Luckily, it's not dark enough. There's a car there with no lights on. It's not dark enough to have lights on yet. Uh, my lights are on, but it's just, just the one that's basically on. That makes sense. But yeah, I've got it on just to see if it works. You never know, it might just be a loose fitting, so it might just turn back on. Here's hoping, but now nah, we'll get it changed as soon as we get back to the yard before we even park up. We we'll park outside the garage and uh, request someone to do the two minute job. I can do it myself, like I said, I've got the bulbs on me, it's just got to undo the nuts and stuff. It's just easier to get someone else to do it who knows how to do it properly and can do it in two minutes. Whereas it would take me five to ten minutes. Anyway, that's enough of bulbs and lights. What's it? Not needed. Uh, tomorrow, so we're doing Evercreech in the morning. Uh, I'm not 100% sure what time to get there yet because they've actually told me don't rush. Um, it takes two hours to get back, so... I mean, ideally, I want to be leaving there by 9 o'clock. Get back here for 11 o'clock, and then I've got to do one more run, so... I don't know, we'll see. I probably... I'll probably get there for seven in the morning, which means leave the yard at five. So it's not mega early. I could could leave at four o'clock if I really wanted to. If I had a busy day tomorrow, get there for six. Make sure I'm there first. Maybe get in for half six. But it's just I haven't got a busy day tomorrow. I've got to come back and do a local run to Cyprus, and then that's it. Work has definitely uh, quieting down a little bit on the bags, and I can't see me doing this for very long not long at all um, one of my colleagues is actually I've got to follow this cyclist now one of my colleagues is actually currently doing work involving milk tankers so it could be that um, I'll be doing some tanker work sooner or later before Christmas this year so uh, we'll have to see on that we have, we'll have to see looking forward to Christmas, Christmas because 12 days after Christmas I'm going to Disneyland Taking the kids and the girlfriend. Disneyland Palace. Right, how long is it going to take me to overtake this cyclist then? Because these are narrow roads all the way now, pretty much. It's not going to be the easiest to uh, to overtake. Are you going to go down the left? Mm, no indicating to say you are. Nope. There's just no real, real place to overtake this cyclist without giving him. I mean, if I, even if I went all the way to the right hand side, he wouldn't have a meter gap between me and him, so it just wouldn't be safe. And I'm fully loaded, so by the time the back ends past him, who knows what's going around the corner? Like these cars, we just bide our time. Bide our time. There will be an opportunity, I'm sure. The vehicles behind me are thinking I'm the one who's driving slow, probably. A few more bends to go, and I should be able to see quite far ahead. No, nah, I'm not going to risk it. Cars come flying around that corner. Yeah, that would have been would have been close. Um, next opportunity is probably not going to be for a while. If I drop down a gear, I might let him realise I'm behind him and stuck. Just to let him know that I'm behind him. Some cyclists wear earphones, don't they? They can't actually hear the traffic. Can't see his ears. The joys. Driving lorries on the countryside. Just got to be careful because I want, I'm going to indicate in a second to overtake and no my luck there'd be a car trying to overtake me. Still can't overtake. There's this lorry coming the other way now.
once we get around this bend, I should be able to see quite far ahead. We've got quite a key behind us now. Hopefully it's all clear. No, nope, not clear. <sighs> Can you not see how much of a nuisance you're being? Come on. Finally! Jesus! Right. <laughs> Bloody cyclists. Anyway, I am finished for the day. I'm driving back to the yard, literally five minutes away. Get this light bulb changed, park up, go home. Parents' evening tonight as well. So uh, that'll be fun. That'll be fun indeed. Anyway, thanks for watching. Until next time, drive safe. I will see you soon. Bye bye.